So again, you can see these really fine details here. Rods molded in, super clean. Everything's really nice. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and I'm gonna be having a closer look at the Hasegawa Tupolev 144. Now, this kit is um, uh, a fairly new release. And if you don't know much about the Tupolev 144, it's actually the Russian version of the Concorde. So in the late 60s, in the height of the Cold War, there was a, um, uh, uh, I, I guess a competition between the East and the West uh, about who could have the, uh, uh, the most up-to-date and fancy technological breakthroughs. So the Concorde was being produced um, in France and in England at the time. And it seems that Russia wanted to get in on the action and it's a little bit controversial, but it seems like some planes of the Concorde landed in Russia and they were able to produce their own plane, which had a remarkably Concorde look about it. Now, with uh, uh, the hard work, they actually got it to fly two months before the Concorde had its maiden voyage. And um, that, that were going very well, it appeared, um, until it came up to the, uh, the Paris air show where they were going up head to head. And as the Russian um, Tu-144 went out, it actually came into some trouble and had a crash. And that pretty much slowed down its production for the rest of its life. It had some uh, passenger flights within Russia and then eventually it um, got relegated to uh, commercial flights for cargo and mail. So this is the S version, which is one of the later ones. So this one had the improved engines on it. And uh, the S, uh, I don't think it really did any um, commercial passenger flights. It was a, basically a mail plane. But enough about the history, let's have a closer look inside um, at all the bits and pieces. So this particular kit's a 1 to 144 scale, uh, not your uh, more common 1 to 72 scale, but I mean commercial planes are usually in 1 to 144 or 1 to 200 sim because of their, their size. Okay, let's open up and have a closer look. All right, so first thing to see, so we've got a few slides components there. Now this kit is actually a ICM kit that's been reboxed by Hasegawa. Now, you may think, oh, ICM, they're not so good, but actually ICM are very, very nice. So you may not be able to see, but there's super, super fine panel lines, which Hasegawa are actually famous for. And you just see some of these um, sensor over here, they're very, very fine. You can't see any flash on it at all. Very, very clean indeed. Okay, so you've got uh, one side of fuselage with the whole um, uh, tailplane molded in, and then you've got the, the other side there to complete it. You've got some engine exhaust on both sides here. And then there's probably some, uh, not too sure, probably undercarriage covers, maybe. We'll find out in a sec. All right, let's pop that over there. All right, next bit. We've got the wings. Okay, so you got your delta wing sections. So you get your delta wing sections. So these are the, uh, these will be the uppers. And then you've got the, the nose cone here. You'll notice that there's this little curved section because this actually had the, uh, the drooping nose as well. So the drooping nose was, was set down so that the pilots actually had more vision of the runway of the taking off and also after they've landed. And then as it was uh, getting to supersonic, it'll be lifted up for better aerodynamic um, uh, slipperiness, I guess you're saying. So again, you can see these really fine details here. Got these little Rods molded in, super clean. Everything's really nice. Okay, so let's pop that over there. We've got here, okay, so we've got some more engine detail here. So just engine nozzles. So each plane had um, two engines on each side. Pop that there. All right, and then we've got this large piece here. Okay, so we've got the, uh, this is uh, the base of the, uh, the delta of the wings. You'll see that's the, uh, the front undercarriage. You've got uh, engine nacelles. Uh, you've got the, the covers for the engine. So you see how the engine nozzles are here, the intakes of this side. And then you've got the undercarriage that fits under there. And then you've got all the finer details. You've got the, uh, that looks like uh, front undercarriage. Um, and then you've got all the wheels. See how many wheels it uses. And all the other bits and pieces. Okay, so with that, we've got one more sprue lift. There's this one here. So it's clear, 
clear sprue. So basically you get a stand. You've got the windscreen here. And then you've got a lot more over this side as well. And then these are the clear parts for the size of the fuselage. Okay, so they're all plastic bits. Nice sheet of decals here. Okay, so the decals are actually printed by Hasegawa. You'll notice that they've got the Hasegawa mark there. So there's a major difference between this and the ICM kit. Kit itself, superb. Japanese printed decals. So obviously you've got the CCC CP. So for the, uh, the early days of this running. Okay, and then you've got the, the manual. So standard Hasegawa style manual. You've got your, your paint list across the front. Then over here you have your, your listing of all the parts. Open up to the first steps. And then you get into the construction stage. So first thing is to get all the windows put inside the fuselage. Got the rudder going on. The nose being built. And then you start making the, uh, the center of the, uh, uh, the superstructure. Wings with the ailerons all getting put together with nacelles for the engines. Put together with the nose. So it's showing you the nose can be up or drooped. Over here you get all the undercarriage. They're being built and then fitted to the bottom of the aircraft. And then over here, final assembly. You've got the, the little uh, access points here for the cockpit. And then there's a stand if you want to mount it on the stand. And then over here, this is just showing you exactly the different colors, where to use them, and then also the decals. And that's it. So that is my unboxing of the Hasegawa Wonder 144 scale. TU-144S, which is actually an ICM kit with some Hasegawa decals, but don't let that fool you. It's actually a very, very nice kit. So hope you enjoyed that and get on to it. <laughs>